Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life, and welcome to episode 13 of the Wireless Weekly Recap. Got lots to cover, so let's get started. So I wanted to recap T-Mobile's announcement. T-Mobile will cover your iPhone or Pixel if you bring it from Verizon. Now, I tried to do some more research on this, so I wanted some input and opinions from you guys. I didn't see any other phones that they listed that you can bring over from Verizon if they're compatible with T-Mobile's network, such as maybe the S8 or the S7. They didn't speak on that. Maybe we will get more info from T-Mobile on the 31st when it actually launches. So I also wanted to hear from you guys since it's been announced two days now. Is this too aggressive? Is it maybe borderline desperate? What I thought when it first was launched, I was like, okay, maybe the port ratios are in Verizon's favor now. Maybe they've taken a bit too many customers from T-Mobile. So now T-Mobile wants to answer back with this aggressive move. But it could just be maybe T-Mobile wants to accelerate the growth and really take more customers from Verizon. Now, also, this deal is limited to Sprint and AT&T customers. But they are still able to switch based on the carrier freedom, I believe it's called, where you get the six fifty per line. So that that's also still available for those customers from Sprint and AT and T. So one thing that I did see for the scammers. Now, either way, in my opinion, I think it still works for the consumer. But you have to have your account with Verizon for at least sixty days before you can make that switch. So what the scammer is going to do. They're going to open the line with Verizon, get five iPhone 7 plus 256 gigs, and then bring it to T-Mobile and have them pay it off. So after 60 days, you can still do that same scenario. So I don't know why T-Mobile is you know, even doing that. But So let's just say you have six lines. Let's just say six lines and every single one of them has an iPhone 7 plus 256 gigabytes. After 60 days, you bring all those devices to T-Mobile. They pay them off for you. Now you're on T-Mobile's network with no phone payments, and you just pay whatever their requirements are for the monthly bill. To me, that's crazy. I know the 650 is a bit high, but you guys know the iPhone 7 Plus 256 is over $1,000. So 60 days is two months. The phone may have had a payment of 30 bucks. You know, depending on what kind of deal they got, maybe they got the $15 deal or the 20 The most is maybe they paid it off by $100 or so or whatnot. But then T-Mobile has to pay $900 per phone for that customer to switch. To me, it sounds a bit desperate, but, you know, maybe you guys see otherwise. Maybe you guys are like, okay, they're just trying to get more growth, get more people to switch over, which is fine. But this is, I think this is more of a way, what if a lot of customers switch? What if a million Verizon customers end up switching? That's a lot of money that T-Mobile has to spend on those phones. So just wanted to point that out. And I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Next, we have some speed tests out of Chicago. Verizon is really getting crazy on the upgrades in Chicago. They're doing lots of small sales. So I appreciate the pictures that were sent in. These are small sales downtown Chicago. Now, I don't know. It didn't state if all of these were Verizon small sales. T-Mobile is also accelerating on the small sales. So T-Mobile also has some small sales downtown. This speed test right here is on Xfinity Mobile. This is our first speed test on Xfinity Mobile. Some decent speeds, 42 on the download, 11 on the upload, and the ping is 85. So I appreciate that speed test. This is the very first one on Xfinity Mobile. And I look forward to seeing more of those. So this is really good, good stuff. Appreciate it. Next, we have AT&T speed tests out of Kilgore, Texas. So that's a part of Texas. I haven't had any speed tests, so I appreciate that. AT&T seems to be doing really well there. 97 on the download, 14 on the upload. Ping is also very low. So that's really good to see. Next, we have another one out of Kilgore. As you can see, 130 on the download, upload 11, ping is 59. So AT&T is really putting that spectrum to use. They're not sitting on it. And then they have another 2,000 towers that they are rolling out this year. 
So AT&T is putting in a lot of work, so we'll see what the results are. Next, we actually have some speed tests out of Miami on T-Mobile. T-Mobile is doing quite well in Miami. They, they do have a few issues, so do all carriers, where they have a lack of coverage, even you know drops to edge, which in the city, we shouldn't see those at all anymore, but it happens. And all it's letting you know is that T-Mobile has room for growth and they can upgrade and you know they can get better. So as you can see, this is one of the first markets that I've seen that have a pure band 2 20 megahertz and band 4 20 megahertz all other markets from what i've seen they are at 15 because they only have 20 and they have to have another five on hspa plus miami has 25 megahertz of a uh, band 2 1900 pcs so they can put 20 and leave another five for hspa plus and when they cut off hspa plus they can add that to band 2 so it'll be 25 megahertz so That'll be really good to see, but they are opening the pipes for Miami, and these are the speeds and what it's looking like. So as you can see, T-Mobile is putting in work. They're, they're adding spectrum. They're already dense, and these speeds are crazy. Now, I don't know if this is 256 qualms or 4x4 MIMO. As you saw, they have band 2 and band 4 at 20 megahertz. That's 300 megabits theoretical speed. So... Theoretically, he can get that on just two carrier aggregation. If the tower isn't so low that he can get these speeds. But if the area is crowded and you see these kinds of speeds, more than likely it's all of the technologies put together. So this is really good to see. T-Mobile is, is doing a lot of stuff. So definitely, uh, this is a speed test that I ran earlier. T-Mobile is struggling in that area. I sent it to support, and they put out a ticket for it. So I'm going to see what the results are with that. So definitely, I appreciate all the support from you guys. It is much appreciated. I will reply back to all of you guys in the morning. Today was my day off, so I'm getting ready to lay down in bed. Got work in the morning, so I'll be looking forward to my replies. I'm looking forward to all of you guys commenting in the comment section down below. It's getting really interactive. I appreciate it. Um, I like the info I'm getting there. You know, you guys are very knowledgeable. So if we put our heads together, we can accomplish a lot of things. And definitely keep sending in speed tests on the email. I have a bunch more of the show next week already. So that's really good to see. So I definitely appreciate all the support and give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated, keeps me going. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.